Hi, welcome everyone. In this new After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to create super realistic clouds. Then I will show you how to generate different cloud instances for your final flying through scene. All of this in a short, simple and amazing way. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Any comment will be welcome. By the way, enjoy the free project files, link in the description. In a new After Effects project file, create a new composition, rename it shape. The size 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel looks ok. 30 seconds for the duration, always try to keep the duration more than 20 seconds, 25 seconds. And hit ok. This composition will be used as our main shape for the cloud. Right click on the new composition, create a new solid, whatever the color, keep it. And now with the ellipse tool, draw an ellipse mask inside the composition. After that, select the layer, hit double M on the keyboard to reveal the mask properties and update the mask feather to 90. Maybe you have to decrease the mask expansion so you will be far from the border. Now once our layer is ready, we right click and we add an effect distort turbulent displays I will keep all the setting just I will update the amount 200 the size will be 40 now we have an overall shape of the cloud so we will animate it for that with alt pressed on the keyboard I will click on the stopwatch of the evolution and I will write the following expression time multiplied by 500 now I will have the shape changing at every frame I will use this one to generate more than one kind of a cloud later depending on the composition name now I will right click on the timeline, create a new adjustment layer. I will right click on the effect control panel. I will call the turbulent displays effect again. But this time I will update the setting. I will keep the 50, but on the size I will decrease it to be 40 only. But the complexity I will increase it to 10. Going back to the project panel, I will right click, create a new composition. This time I will rename the composition 1. I will use this name after that to be the index to show which second I will stop on it to get the cloud shape. I will keep the same setting. I will drag and drop my shape composition inside my new composition. The first thing to do is to right click on my layer and I will go to time freeze frame now with alt pressed on the keyboard I will click on the stopwatch of the time remapping I will write the following expression this comp dot name as you can see here this expression freezes the time at the first second as a reference to the comp name which is 1 so if we try, for example, to duplicate the first composition, it will be the second. Composition 2, the freezing will be at the second, 2. Going back, I'll delete this composition for now. I will select my shape layer. I will add again a turbulent displace effect. But this time, I will update the setting. 50 and here the size it will be 60 only but the complexity here will be 10 the cloud now is not animated so I have to animate it so the same thing I will, I will hold alt on the keyboard I will click on the stopwatch I will write the following expression time 
multiplied by 50. And here we have our cloud with an animated effect. Now I have to enhance a little bit this cloud to get the colors of a cloud. To do that, I'll right click on the layer, I'll go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Turbulent Noise. I'll call the cloudy settings. I'll decrease a little bit the scale. 400. And I think I have to update the brightness a little bit. 30, maybe this. Now everything is ready. I can create my new composition. It will be my master composition. And I will make it HDTV size 1920 by 1080. Okay, I'll right click on the timeline, create a new solid. It will be a blue color, for example, the color of the sky. And I'll drag and drop my cloud composition. This is my first cloud. If I duplicate now my cloud, I'll drag and drop the second one. It will be another cloud with a different shape. A third cloud, different shape. Fourth cloud, different shape. Now, if I make a preview, you can see here we have four different animated clouds. Now it's time to move to the beautiful part. For that, I'll try to simulate flying through the clouds. For that, I'll duplicate to create like seven units of the clouds. And I'll delete all of these. I'll drag and drop the same clouds again. I'll turn those layers 3D. And look at this, I'll link every layer to the layer behind. Select all the layers, hit P on the keyboard. And before that I will create a new camera. So you will see the effect. Maybe here, 28. With C, I want to change my navigation. I want to change my view. And as I said, with all the layers selected, I'll try to update the Z position. And now, I will unlink all the layers, change my view again, I will reposition the layers one by one. Maybe I have to update the camera, 50, okay. I'll scale all the layers. I'll try to animate the camera. I'll insert keyframes here in the first frame. For example, after 10 seconds, I want to cross to simulate a crossing.
maybe enough here. Hit N to limit your preview area. That looks nice, but we have a problem here that we feel like a jump when the camera is crossing the 2D layer of the cloud. To resolve that problem, I will start with the first layer. To play on the opacity when the camera is approaching the cloud, I have to work on the opacity of every layer. So to do that, I will open the transform option of any layer. So here in our case, the first layer. The same thing for the camera. With Alt pressed on the keyboard, I will write the following expression. A equal, here it will be the position, the Z position of the layer, B equal, the Z position of the camera, Enter A minus B. Yeah, you see here the result. The opacity is decreasing when the camera is approaching. But the problem is doing that very close to the camera and very fast. I have to tweak a little bit my expression. After several trials, in my case, I found that I have to divide the A position by 10, the same thing for the B position, which is for the camera. These values are depending on the position itself. Now all I have to do is to copy the opacity, new properties, and to paste it to the other layers. Control V. Select all the layer. U. Let's try again. I think this is everything for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that and please don't forget to leave any comment if you have any suggestion. See you! If you like my tutorial don't forget please to subscribe to my channel, feel free to leave any comment and by the way you can download all the project files from the link in the description.